Hey folks, it's day 91 here. We're gonna do a quick little check-in on our zucchini baby, see how it's doing. And there's three things I wanna cover off on in this video. First, we're going to talk about those female flowers. And they have not only arrived, but they've already been pollinated with zucchinis growing, which is amazing. Second piece that I wanna talk about is pollination. And if hand pollination is something that we need to do, or if you're going to have pollinators in your area. And then the third piece, now that we have zucchinis growing on our plant, I wanna chat through when we go about harvesting them. So let's take a look at our baby here. And as we can see, it is just really, really thriving. And when you take a look right in here, you remember those two really small little female flowers that we looked at last week? Well, they are now big, beautiful zucchinis that are growing on the plant here. And so what has happened over the last seven days is that that really teeny tiny little female flower that we were looking at, it opened up so that it was ready to receive the pollen from the male flower. And then we would have had a pollinator, whether it was a bee or an insect, buzz over to that male flower, get some pollen on it, and it came over to the female flower and it has successfully pollinated that female flower which is why we see the zucchini plant, uh, the zucchini now growing on the zucchini plant. The second piece is to go a little bit deeper into that pollination side, because in this particular instance, we had a pollinator that was naturally living here come and pollinate that plant. But if you're potentially living in a high rise or in a patio or somewhere where there are not as many pollinators, then it's possible then what you're going to need to do is a little bit of hand pollination. Or in other words, you're going to simulate what a pollinator would do in bringing the pollen from the male flower over to the female flower. And the way that you can go about hand pollinating to simulate being a pollinator is with a Q-tip. And so all that you would do with this Q-tip is that you would go to one of the male flowers where there is not a fruit following the flower and you would put the Q-tip into the flower and you'd rub it around until you have a little bit of pollen on it. And zucchinis are such big flowers that you're really easily gonna be able to see that pollen. Now that you have the pollen on it, you're going to take that over to the female flower and then you're going to rub that on the inside of that female flower and that is going to then ensure that that plant is getting pollinated. And so after a couple of days, what you're probably going to notice is that, that flower has closed off and the fruit behind it has started to grow just as we have seen with these two zucchinis that we now have growing on the plant. So even if you are in a location where you don't know if you have lots of pollinators, go ahead and do a little bit of hand pollination and that's going to ensure that you have fruit developing on your plant. And so the third and final piece I wanna cover off on for today is when do we harvest these zucchinis? And so there are um, you know, zucchinis that are going to grow absolutely massive, right? We're gonna be talking like multiple, multiple pounds. But what you might notice on your plant is that if you leave that zucchini on there for an extended period of time, you're not going to see too many other female flowers because the plant, it is putting all of its energy into growing that one zucchini and trying to pass along its seed so that its genetics continue along um, for future generations. And so my encouragement to you is to potentially harvest them a little bit earlier um, where they're, and let me actually see if I can grab one real quick for you. Perfect. So I just pulled this one off of my plant the other day and this is the size of it here. So this is a really beautiful sized zucchini. It's um, obviously got a lot and a lot of food in there for you to eat, but it's not so large that the plant has been putting all of its energy into it. So these ones that we have on the plant here, you know, they're probably about a week away or so from being ready to harvest. And I'm gonna then harvest them at that time so that the plant is kind of signaled, oh, I gotta put out more fruit. So play around with that a little bit. Don't be afraid to let one or two grow really, really large and see if your plant slows down on producing female flowers and then also play around with harvesting them even as early as this and see what that's like to have a higher number of fruits on the plant but a much smaller size and then make the decision for which you prefer and which one you're enjoying the most so that's everything that i wanted to cover off on first the female flowers the hand pollination and when to be harvesting and so what we're going to do is i'm actually going on vacation for the next about seven days here and so i'm going to leave these babies on they might get a little bit large here uh, but then in seven days when i get back from vacation we're going to check in see how they're doing we're definitely going to have to harvest them at that time i can tell you that for sure uh, and then we'll uh, chat through what happens next after that. All right, so 
the next video is our day 98 check-in and it happens fast. We are harvesting our first zucchini next week, which is super, super exciting. So if you wanna get a little bit of a sneak peek in terms of when I harvest the zucchini plants, the size of the fruit when I like to harvest it, then I really encourage you to check out the next video in this playlist. And to do so, you can just simply click on the tile right here and it'll take you through to the next video in the playlist. Otherwise, that's everything that I wanted to cover off on for right now. If you do have any questions, just ask those in the comments down below. Otherwise, you're doing absolutely amazing and I'll see you on that next video.